Today I'm taking a day trip to Ghent, which is about a 30 minute train ride from Brussels. You can get a round trip ticket from the Brussels Central Station for 16 euros a person. It takes about 30 minutes to get into Ghent and when you get there, walk out of the station and go to where the trams are, get a ticket for a day pass into the city. A day pass costs 6 euros and you can go anywhere in the city and it'll take you right back to the train station for you to go back to Brussels. After you get onto tram number one, it takes about 13 minutes into the city center and here I am at Gravenstein. Look at this castle. Stopped by this random ass cafe and I ordered pig's head with mustard and I was hoping like a big chunk of meat would come out but this is what I got so it just looks like um what, what the fuck is that it's like a sausage like a pate style I don't even know but this mustard here is definitely a lot spicier and stronger than the German mustard. Mm, this one actually tastes good. Okay, now I am in the castle of the counts and it costs 10 euros for one adult. Now I am in the S&M room where people from the Middle Ages would use these tools to fuck each other. That's a really weird looking dildo. So this looks like a guillotine. It's used for fuckboys. Whenever they piss us off, we put their dick right in this hole and chop it off. And this was the bondage room that they used in the 15th century. These are some vintage bondage toys. This is a demonstration of some of the bondage activities that they would engage in. Some more cuffs. This is a rather large anal bead. I'm not sure how gaping their assholes were back then. This is a pit. It's 5.5 meters deep. If your dick is too small, then you get thrown in here because you're worthless. I'm just kidding. It's not always about size, but it is. I'm Linda Bites. Thanks for watching.